Hey everybody, my name is Lol and welcome to the channel. So we've got some more college football stadiums. This is going to be Mountain West Stadium. So let's jump in. Let's have a look at this one, shall we? The Mountain West Conference is made up of teams located in the mountainous western United States. But you know that. What you don't know no, is like in this, which actually. order some random on YouTube will rank the stadiums. Okay. So let's find out. Man, look at that view. Holy moly. Clarence T.C. Ching Athletics Complex. Last play shouldn't be too surprising given that the stadium is only a temporary home for the Rainbow foul? Warriors Why? while they're waiting for a new stadium. Okay. It's the school's athletic stadium, so there is, of course, a track surrounding the field which pushes the spectators wow, okay. way back. That's a different. To be fair, it was renovated and extended prior to the football team's arrival, so the facilities aren't too bad. The track okay. used to be rainbow colored, but they changed it, unfortunately. Actually, does look a bit better. McKay oh, wow. Stadium. I, we have God, I was looking at the, track, the round one. See, I thought we were partially rectified one. that by just <laughs> chucking some stands over the top 27, of it. 27, Nevada. Wow, that looks... Cool. Um, I mean, it doesn't look good, but still, it's kind of cool how the track goes underneath it. What the? Another thing that doesn't look so good is the exterior. All but the main stand have nothing okay. resembling a facade. There's no cover. It's just exposed steel frames back there. Like for the sun. The reason I okay. haven't put it last is the vast amount of chairback seats in the main stand, okay. as well as the landscaping beyond the north end zone. Okay, that looks all right. University Stadium. Albuquerque might Albuquerque. be known for enjoying bold flavors, okay. such as mesquite grilled onions, jalapeno relish, and mango lime salsa. But when it comes to college football stadiums, University it more closely resembles New British Mexico. cuisine. Okay. All about that beige. The matching the desert surroundings. The interior is also quite bland overall, but beyond the south end zone, I mean, but look, you get to see the mountains. Situation. It's the only section of chairback seats in the house. I don't want to hate on it too much. It's a serviceable. But there's stadium. no cover. War Memorial Stadium. Oh, why well, I mean, okay. Sitting at an elevation of 7,100 feet or 2,100 meters above sea level. Wow. This place lacks that's, in oxygen, but it makes up high. for that with curving upper decks, which optimize the viewing angle for those further from the center. Okay. A rather extravagant looking field house. Oh, wow. And I'm also loving the end zone artwork. Wow, okay, you I like that. I think that is an insignificant design feature. However, it encapsulates everything Wyoming. Wyoming. I think you oh, can there. even see Fuhrer Kanye's ranch in the background. But yeah, it's still a fairly basic stadium overall. Albertson Boy, Stadium. Gee. Firstly, this place gets the nickname of The Blue. I was going to maybe give you the origin story to that name, but after spending hours researching it and sending off emails, I just I couldn't seem to find out why it gets called The Blue. <laughs> very frustrating. Anyway, the stadium has a very unusual seating layer. Broncos. Layout. It kind of looks like they purchased the stadium from Ikea My, um, and rage quit local the team in Brisbane process. is called The Broncos as well. But even more unusual is okay. the fact that the field is... Bl Ugh. It's blue. Good what on you, mate. But yeah, it's a weird but decent stadium. Yeah, why is it blue for? That's that is weird. Valley Children's Stadium. Wow, I didn't even the hardly even is see that. The most simplistic design. In the oh, conference. that is um. It's a symmetrical concrete sunken. bowl built into an earthen bowl. Yeah. I do like that they haven't kept the exterior as plain grass as some similar stadiums do. The stadium is surrounded by trees, so it sort of camouflages into its surrounds. I also quite like how the floodlights are leaning over the seats and are almost Some right on top of the field. Another but bulldogs, okay. due to its lack of modern amenities, I can't really put it in the top half of this list. Seth Q Stadium. Much like many of the real housewives okay. of San Jose, this place has recently had some work done. That's not even a show, is it? Uh, they've demolished an entire oh, wow, stand what? and transformed oh. it into some high-tech, futuristic, eco-friendly grass. It's the grass hill now. Oh, but grass is temporary. Like that. Okay. Okay. There is still say. ongoing construction, but since it's so close to being finished, this ranking is a reflection of what it will be like when it's done. Are they the Spartans, I guess? With the helmet? Maverick Stadium. We've already seen Utah some unique State. designs, but unlike Albertson Stadium, this is unique in a good way. The steep seating, this okay. little nature section in the corner, 
and the newly built performance centre beyond the north end zone okay. combined to give the stadium an intimate feel. And I mean, do I even have to mention it? It's in Utah, thus it has a stunning mountain backdrop. Yeah, no, look at the ridge line there. Oh, wow. Falcon Stadium. Colorado. I always love it when a stadium seamlessly blends into its environment. U.S. Air Force Academy. And the stadium Academy. does just huh? that. The three tiers of the Western Stand have been built into the side of a large hill. I suppose that saved them a lot the in Falcons, construction costs, of course they are. but it's the Air Force we're talking about here. They okay. literally have jets that cost more than most stadiums. Anyway, in terms of its technological features, it's no match for the F-22. I just ranked it so highly mainly due to its unique design and overall aesthetics. And I'm actually pretty close to a US air base right now. And I feel like they're watching me. <laughs> canvas Stadium. If you'll Another excuse the pun, the architects Ooh, had a blank okay. canvas to come up with a new design for the Colorado about a decade States. ago. Okay. What they came up with isn't anything groundbreaking, but it's a great modern stadium with all the amenities you could want, basically. Oh, the Rams. Okay. Exterior is clad with an aesthetically pleasing metallic material mm. known as... Looks like metal. a hospital. Inside, the start, there's a huge the video board, as well as features like the new Belgian porch, where people can sit back and relax sipping an alcoholic beverage, presumably. Okay. Snapdragon Stadium. This brand new stadium built in what was the car park of their old stadium has nearly California. every feature you could ask for other than a roof. Including chairback seats throughout, a varied and distinctive seating layout including these secure piers, which is basically the equivalent of the new Belgian porch at Canvas Stadium. I also much prefer these corner video boards, oh, they do, um, rather than one big well, one directly behind the well. post, okay. as is usually the case. It just looks better. The multi-tiered seating is quite steep as well. Why the heck if I put this at number two? Yeah, this cut. Oh yes, that's why. Allegiant wow. Stadium. I think you probably saw this one coming. No, no did not. not be spending at all. near as much on the what stadium the as a Las this? Vegas-based NFL franchise. And although money isn't everything, it can buy you some pretty cool features. Wow! Where's it begin? Holy There's snap. a big torch sculpture thing, sliding windows, a clear roof, which I think is quite important. Also, wow. if ever the Rebels felt like switching to a natural grass field, that option's always there due to the retractable field. It's basically everything you'd expect from a Las Vegas the sports Rebels, game. wow. Expensive, I love the color. Opulent, but with a little the bit of tackiness. black and the red? Looks I'm referring really to that Allegiant branding on the roof. Well, that is irrelevant for ground dwellers. Wow. That's a so there you fancy, have it. If you enjoy the video, fancy, um, if you already have, stadium to finish it off. Subscribe. If That's um, some interesting ones there. The ones um, sunken into the ground. I was just looking at, you know, I'm from Queensland, obviously. You know, we are the sun cancer capital of the world. Every time I see that, you know, like Nevada and stuff like that, you know, New Mexico, and there's no, there's no covering for the sun. I just, it's just like, well, what do you do with the sun? You know, what do you do? You got to get out of the sun. You got to get out of the sun. You know, it's been drilled into my head since I was, you know, a baby. You know, you got to get out of the sun. The sun is no good for you. So when I see it, and it's like, ah, oh, I don't know if I'd sit there and watch a footy match with uh, no cover over the head. But um, that last stadium. Ooh, that's some pretty fancy stadium. That's a pretty fancy stadium, I tell you what. So, uh, I like that. And obviously, most of them have, obviously, a nice backdrop. Obviously, the one in Utah. Um, great, great mountains. We're pretty flat here in Australia, Queensland especially. Um, so, when he says, you know, something like, you know, they're 2,000 feet above sea level, it's like, that's pretty high. That's pretty high for us. So, uh, we definitely don't get that high up here. So, uh, but that was really good. I enjoyed that. I don't know if it's me or we've watched so many of this guy's um, videos that his humor is starting to rub off on me and I'm starting to find it funny. I don't know if I should worry about that. But anyway, uh, that was another great uh, stadium video. Let me know if you enjoyed that, guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. Make sure you stay safe and I will definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?